What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today, Apple has released iOS 16 Developer Beta 2 to developers. In this video, I'll be explaining everything new found in the software. Now, the first thing I've tried is playing a few games, and gaming performance still seems to be the same, except it's not stuttery this time. But let's talk about new features. Inside of messages, we can now sort our messages by SIM card. I do not have dual SIM, so I cannot confirm if this is only iMessage or if it's also SMS. Inside of wallpaper, we have a user-friendly change. We have customize button below here and we also have the add new wallpaper as we can do before This is just a nice change. I like this a lot I like how we have customize buttons and it looks like we don't need to tap on it anymore And it's a lot more user-friendly in my opinion for the first time ever We are now able to back up our iPhone using LTE before you could only use 5G and Wi-Fi But now you can also use LTE to back up your iPhone is a nice change in my opinion. Now unfortunately what has not been fixed, if you scroll multiple times, you have this weird bug on the bottom right here where the dots are not aligned properly. If you stop scrolling, it should fix itself. Yep, it fixed itself. Hopefully we see a fix for that pretty soon. All right, I'm having a weird bug where you see my silent switch is off but I am not able to have sound, which is super strange. I hope this will get fixed. I'm not sure if this was also beta one, but I'm just experiencing this just now. now. Unfortunately, the lock screen has not improved, as if we turn on a focus mode, we do not have the option to change focus mode. I'm gonna turn that off. I wish we had the ability to turn our focus modes off from the lock screen. Overall, performance seems to be a lot better in iOS 16 beta two than beta one. Let's see if Geekbench can tell a story. Performance has definitely improved since iOS 16 beta 1, but it's not on par with iOS 15.5 as of right now. So I would not install this on your main device even if this does become the public beta like it did last year. Those are all the changes I can find with iOS 16 beta 2 currently. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Also, I have a list of every single change in iOS 16. I'll go over that list when iOS 16 releases to everybody. Bye!